Hello, hello. I am back with another video, last video of the day. I just made some toothpaste. Some homemade toothpaste and my mouth feels so good. <laughs> I like it. I'm not going to be posting it on my website. I just was trying it because I think I, all I know, <laughs> I know I can do anything. I can do anything. I told my son, I was like, I don't like that toilet paper that I got from the store last time. I think I can make my own toilet paper yet. He said, my chill, you're doing too much. <laughs> so, so I'm not going to make no toilet paper. <laughs> I'm not going to make no toothpaste and sell it. I'm just make my own toothpaste. But this toothpaste, oh, it feels so good. Okay, okay, what is this video about? Um, the purpose of this video is to talk about love and does real love exist? And I wanted to leave this video on my channel because I was a moment in my life when I didn't believe that it exists based upon where I was in my life. And that's, that's pretty much what really what everything in the physical reality. We are all on a journey evolving to higher self. And we have to remember that god or source energy is the most powerful form of energy that there is the most powerful form of love that there is okay so really to say does real love exist is really like a a diss to the universe so to speak in my opinion because god is the agape kind of love you know and i believe it's just based upon like i said where we are because there was a moment in my life when, when, when I was single and I, I knew a lot of men and I, <laughs> and I knew how they operate, how they operated at that time and still how some do operate today with, you know, their wives and women in their life and, and even, you know, family members, you find out, you know, who doing what to who in relationships, you find out their little dirt sometimes, or even if they didn't share it with you, you could sit back and you could pay attention because the writing be on the wall. And so when you're in that place in your life, you might feel like, man, real love doesn't e exist, you know. But it might not exist on the level of what you're thinking it exists upon. Like, um, you know, maybe it's not the Barbie and Ken kind of love. But there are people in the physical reality that do experience real love. The thing, the thing is, it's probably about 5% of people and you probably don't know. <laughs> you probably don't know those people. It's just like, you know, how people say twin flames or soulmates or, or stupid. I don't believe in that, you know. But that's based upon where they are in their journey because they never experienced it. Because here in the physical reality, if you can think about it, it is possible it can exist you know so it'll take a person to create a paradigm shift within their mind to experience that level of love but it does exist and so maybe they just never evolved to that level it, it if you're gonna say that real love doesn't exist it's almost equivalent to saying you can't be healed from cancer now, some people in the physical reality, when they hear that, you know, another person has cancer or whatever, they will believe that. <gasps> oh, she's going to die or he's going to die. He got cancer. That's it. You know, that's like the death note, the death sentence or whatever. But to others like myself that I'm a healer and, and have seen countless people be healed from many types of sicknesses and diseases that's not an end all yes i believe that that person can be healed but it would take that person to create a paradigm shift for them to be successful at it or <laughs> if they don't become successful at it it'll go into remission and then end up coming back 10 times stronger you know because they didn't make the complete shift because all things are energy. So 
for the person who has cancer, there are some people that's going to believe or know that they can be healed by their thinking, by their eating, by their behavior, the toxic lifestyle change that, create a new paradigm shift, and bam, increase frequency on their way to wellness, right? So if we're looking at the thing, of uh, the, the subject here about does real love exist? This person might be in a place in their life where all they experience is, experiencing is players, failed marriages, broken relationships. But if that same person was to create a paradigm shift within themselves, loving self, getting around, getting from around those type of toxic people, and if they they sense that particular toxic energy coming their way being able to remove themselves and saying no i don't want i don't welcome you into my my reality being able to walk away from it and just find love or joy and something else or staying on the love frequency for themselves then they'll realize one day because they'll walk into somebody a different type of man from what they used to be experiencing and they'll realize wait there are different types of men just like there's different type of love different types of men and all men are not the same just like all women are not the same and some are affectionate some some do show their love in different ways just like for me for example you know um <laughs> I watched oh my mouth feels so good I'm sorry y'all <laughs> I watched this video this man this man um, he was talking about black women he was like in so many words he was saying black women are done and I was like ooh you know like ooh I'm done ooh I just started I'm done already <laughs> Good thing he does not create in my reality. And so, you know, he was just talking about how washed up they were and they no, you know, I guess no good and and he done with them and he he's evolved to other type of women and, and I wish him well in his physical reality, but but he spoke of black women and I am in the physical reality a black woman. <laughs> But I do not represent the type of black woman that he was speaking of in that particular video. And so, unbeknownst to him, women like me exist in the physical reality. But he's just never experienced any. So now he's just going to toss us all to the curb. So all of us is done. And so me included, just because, just because I'm black. And so that's the same thing I feel like those people that are limited thinking about love, where they are. To say that real love does not exist. <laughs> it's almost like saying God doesn't exist. And so then we have these atheist people, do we have people, some people, and it goes just and ties into my example that I just gave. That they an atheist person to have that experience one day in a near death accident or in a dream or something with a demon or something it'd be like oh, I've been converted yes God does exist because guess what <laughs> one day they had an experience and they were able to and that experience caused them to create a paradigm shift with their thinking and so one day for those who do not believe that love real love does exist or does not exist one day for them they'll meet someone that looks like them like for example that man he'll meet some black woman that looks like him That he can possibly be in awe of. Not to say that he's going to marry her and be with her. and But 
it is possible for him or his paradigm to shift based upon experience a different type of woman and getting out of his limited way of thinking or his box because he in his box black women are done hmm. but this box doesn't represent the multi-dimensional universe the multi-dimensional universe <laughs> where everything is possible and so for women, all black men, or all men, period, are not the same. They are not the same. And and really, like I, I, I like to share on my videos, I do these videos for my lower self when I did one day think all men were the same. And it took me experiencing a man that I was in awe of. And I would just watch him and, and just was like, wow. But I wasn't able to see him when I was on low frequency. He did not show up there. Mm -mm. He didn't show up until my paradigm shift took place. My limited thinking had expanded. Until I got on love frequency for self, did he show up? And that is how I know that love, real men, <laughs> passion and purpose, abundance, all of these things exist. I know they exist. I'm not saying this is just as a catch for something. <laughs> For some type for as a catch or some type of term that we use just loosely no I these are the things that I know and I encourage you to get on a frequency where you just know real love exists where you just know abundance exists where you just know healing exists yeah babe you know, I don't have my phone with me I was doing a video sorry about that so I encourage you to get on the frequency where you just know that real love exists. Where you just know that abundance exists. That happiness and joy, whatever it is that you are seeking, the passion and purpose. That you just know it exists. So that the universe can make way for you. Don't be like that, that black better man who was saying that all black women are done. Don't be like that. I encourage you not to be like that because that's a limited way of thinking when the universe has a plethora of black women. And he, because of his limited way of thinking, because of the frequency where he's vibrating, yes, they are probably done. He's probably died of those right there. But he will never be able to experience the ones that are on a higher frequency because of where he is. So. Of course, to him, yes, they are done. But he's never experiencing the other ones. He's capping himself off, and I encourage you not to cap yourself off and say that love does not exist. Because to say that is just like saying God does not exist. It's just like that atheist person saying, if God is real, such and such would not have happened. Meanwhile, the universe is God. <laughs> think about it anything that you could actually think on or desire question is possible if it wasn't possible you wouldn't even be able to think about it or ask or question yourself just like we're in this realm I just want to stimulate thought with you before I go just like in this realm, let's think about this here. What is the possibility of this being a realm where people are in an avatar body that they're assigned to? But there, at the same time, is another realm that exists 
where you're not tied to a physical body, where you could enter in and exit at free will in other dimensions. Just think about it. Now, for some of you, you probably say, oh, no, that can't be possible. But some of you know that it is possible. Just think about a, one more thing. A world that exists where people don't have this so-called free will and governed by this human nature and laws of the universe. A world that's pure love frequency. Pure love. Ain't no choice to hate. Ain't no choice to go against the grain. It's just pure love, joy, bliss. Do you think that's possible? Do you think that exists? You don't have to answer the question. I just wanted to stimulate the thought inside of you. Meanwhile, we live in a universe where all things are possible if you only believe <laughs> this video was from my heart to yours be blessed babe